Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, everybody. We have Lanny and Bird here, the Dividend Diplomats, and we are going to talk to you today about a nice undervalued dividend growth stock. Smash that subscribe button, give Bert and I a thumbs up. Like I've said it before, turn that mother sucker blue. Don't break your thumb, but break this thumb here on the screen. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, Do it. it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, Lanny, tell us, what is this undervalued dividend stock we're going to talk to you about today? We're going to talk about the most undervalued dividend stock in our eyes, my eyes, here today for you the dividend stock investor or any old stock investor that's interested to seeing what I'm seeing as a very undervalued dividend growth stock. And there's only gonna be one dividend stock we're gonna talk about. This dividend stock, we, own, we both own shares in this company here. They pay us a very solid dividend. They have a nice little dividend growth history and we cannot wait to preview and talk to you more about this. But first, how do we find these dividend growth stocks, Lanny? First, we start off with the legendary Dividend Diplomats Dividend Stock Screener. Three simple metrics, price to earnings ratio, payout ratio below 60%, preferably in that 40 to 60% range for the perfect payout ratio. That's right, the perfect that dividend sweet payout spot. ratio. It's the meat part of the bat, the silver slugger. And then the third <laughs> dividend metric is dividend growth and the dividend growth rate on average. That has been a formula that we have found successful over the years as we continue to build our dividend growth stock portfolio and pursue financial freedom. As you'll see, we continue to find these great income producing assets to add to our portfolio. So that's why we cannot wait to continue bringing you videos sharing the dividend stocks and how we find them. Now, the stock market has been on a tear. And then even leading in this presidential debate, the talks of the stimulus, no stimulus, the stimulus after the presidential election, maybe there's a stimulus, and then President Trump just announced that, oh, no more discussions until after the election. The stock market is reacting all over the place. In the mm -hmm. last, you know, last week for the week of October 5th, the market has just been on an absolute green tear. So finding that dividend stock to purchase has been even harder right now in today's market. Yeah, you run our stock screener. There aren't too many companies that are trading at, at that low of a discount to the broader market. It's kind of crazy. However, we still find them. If you look hard enough, there's always a diamond in the rough. Even though it's not a rough time from a stock market standpoint, um, it's a rough time for an undervaluation from a dividend stock standpoint. But I found one and mm -hmm. I can't wait now to finally get into it. You're here, you're listening, you're subscribing, you're liking. It's time to talk about the most undervalued dividend stock right now, Bert. All right, Lanny. I, we can't wait Tom for the big reveal. No, 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 no. All right, yeah, yeah. You're here Let's for the go. big reveal. Let's, Let's do it, Lanny. What dividend stock is the most undervalued dividend stock to buy today? Well, this was one of my first dividend stock purchases. Is if it? If not, it was probably the first individual dividend stock I ever bought. So you have a nice long-term history here. Long-term history. In fact, they have a, you know, when we get into the growth rate, I've actually been a part of every dividend increase that they've had on their current yeah, street. That's a pretty sweet little fact. It's a pretty sweet little fact. It's ticker symbol PFE. Pfizer. Oh, man, and I'm excited to hear why you think Pfizer, one of the pharmaceutical giants, is that undervalued dividend stock. We've been really hearing the name a lot more too recently in the news. Uh, you know, obviously they're trying to pass all the rounds for the vaccine for COVID-19 um, between them and there's a few other big names, but I would say Pfizer right now is probably the biggest name. Yeah, in the news for other reasons as well, they are getting ready to do a nice little split of some of their retail companies as well. They're gonna be merging with a joint venture with Mylan. Mylan's gonna take their EpiPen. You have Pfizer taking Viagra and Lipitor. A nice cash cow business is gonna be created there and shareholders of Pfizer are gonna get some shares in the spinoff. Yep, and the dividend I know they said is going to remain at least the same and more than likely you'll have dividend growth from two companies. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch because both of them are gonna have strong growth routes as well. But we're here to also show you why it's the most undervalued mm -hmm. dividend stock right now. Yeah. And we put them through the dividend stock screener. Yep, all right, so Lanny, let's walk through this. Their price to earnings ratio, what is Pfizer's price to earnings ratio? Well, analysts right now are currently expecting over $3 in earnings per share uh, next year. And they currently trade at a price below $37. 
Um, therefore, the price to earnings ratio when you divide that share price over the expected earnings is actually below 12. Wow. Um, you know, and that's yeah. very undervalued compared to the S&P 500. Yeah, Lanny said that the stock market is on a tear. It is hot, and he was not kidding. Their P.E. ratio over the recently has been around 28 times. So Pfizer being around 12 times, as you said, it's a heck of a discount to the market. As I said, it's a hell of a deal. Yeah. So let's see. All right. We're getting ready to throw the pitch here for number two. Is Pfizer going to hit the sweet spot of the bat here with that perfect dividend payout ratio? Well, Bert, so the analyst, as you, as I said earlier, they're anticipating over $3 in earnings per share, $3.24. Yeah. And the current quarterly dividend is $0.38 cents per share or $1.52. So naturally, you already know that it's below 50% and above 40%. Yep, that is the perfect dividend payout ratio right there. Why do we consider this the perfect dividend payout ratio? It's because that is the right amount for companies to still reinvest their earnings in the company, continue to grow their operations. However, it also gives investors a very strong dividend yield as well. And with Pfizer, they don't disappoint from the dividend front. So we get the best of both worlds in these situations. That's why I think it's perfect. They're not pulling one lever too hard compared to the other one. Reinvesting back in the business and returning cash right back to you. Yep, and, and then right we are reinvesting you. that right back into our portfolio. So that third dividend metric that they pass, that dividend growth rate. So first they've had a dividend streak now going on 10 years. Um, so from essentially 09 to 19, they've in increased their dividend. And we expect one here in the fourth quarter, depending on what happens with the spinoff. And they've really have done one at around two cents, uh, you know, per share, you know, per quarter per mm -hmm. year. And they're currently doing a 38 cent quarterly dividend. And, you know, they're naturally their dividend growth rate is between six and 8%. Yeah, I think that lends perfectly into what we expect their next dividend increase to be which that two cent increase would give us a nice little 5.3% dividend increase right there. It's really so, in a great sweet spot, I would say, because we're gonna talk to them and you yeah. about the bonus metric. Exactly, Lanny, that last bonus metric, dividend yield. So at a quarterly dividend of 38 cents per share, obviously annualized out is $1.52. Taking that over the 30, you know, under $37 share price, you're getting a dividend end yield of over 4%. Man, that is much higher than the broader S&P 500 dividend yield, which is below 2%, way higher than that yield on your savings account. We always joke around about our high yield savings account yielding 0.6% right now. Thanks, Ally. However, 4% is a huge premium compared to that. And for a company that's been around as long as Pfizer has, a company that has increased their dividend for now 10 plus years, offering a much higher yield in a, in a company that's healthcare, pharmaceuticals, they're doing great things right now. Have a lot of popular brands, really yeah. got, has good strength in the healthcare market, as well as working on the vaccine. This is like a very good package. I mean, obviously yeah. you can see why it's one of the, if not the most undervalued dividend stock right now. Yeah, I guess we just kind of went right into it. This is a great company. I think that past the metrics, they've done very well. There are a lot of great things happening here with Pfizer. So in summary, they have a price to earnings below 12 a perfect dividend payout ratio. A history of increasing their dividend for 10 years with a nice five to 6% average dividend growth rate and a dividend yield of over 4%. So if you don't think that's you know not signs of a very undervalued company, share it below. If you agree, share it below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you think there's another dividend stock out there that you think is the most undervalued dividend stock to buy right now, please share it in the comments because we also want to know. Yeah, we can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. And if you like this video and you like other dividend news being brought to your YouTube feed, please subscribe to our channel and give us that thumbs up. We love it. We appreciate all of the support we get from the community and we want to continue bringing you great videos about dividend stocks. This is Burton Laney from the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.